Now actually we are going to discuss the linear block codes. Whatever we have discussed it was an introduction. Now we are going to discuss a, a generator and parity check matrix encoding method how we do the encoding that we are going to discuss. Block code. Encoding theory block codes are a large and important family of error cutting codes that encode data in blocks. How, what is the meaning of block codes? See, I want to send a thousands together bits from the transmitter to the receiver. I make them into blocks. Each block I will take and I will encode. Hence it is called as block codes. I will not take a single single bit or I will not uh, do at a time all the bits. I will take a block of bits. A block means what is the size. With the numerical example, we are going to discuss later in this chapter. So remember why it is called as block code, a set of bits we call as a block. We are going to encode those bits or uh, one block at a time. And many types of uh, block codes are available. Commonly used block codes are these you can uh, note down. Uh, parity codes, Hamming codes, Hadamard codes, parity codes, Hamming codes, parity codes. Hamming codes, Hadamard codes, Gole code, Hadamard code and uh, Gole code, cyclic codes, in the cyclic codes, in the bracket we have, we can write CRC, BCH, RS code, BCH codes, RS codes, the non-binary block codes, non-binary block codes followed by concatenated block codes followed by concatenated block codes take another 10 seconds those who are not copied they can copy down a parity codes hamming codes hadamard codes gole codes cyclic codes in that crc bch and rs non-binary block codes concatenated block codes. Let us go to the next. A linear block code is a block code in which the exclusive R is nothing but a mod 2 of any two code words result a another code word then we say linear. Linear codes are traditionally partitioned into block codes and convolutional codes. In this subject we are going to discuss block codes as well as convolutional codes. So why it is called as a linear, when you exclusive R, any two code word, it will result into a another code word. Hence it is called as linear block code. I take a 15 seconds and uh, try to copy down the meaning of a linear block code. A linear block code is a block code in which the exclusive or of any two code words results into another code word. Let me go to the next. Uh, today we are going to discuss a little theory. Uh, whole encoding procedure we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss a decoding procedure without taking any example. So hence, uh, sometimes it may feel a little difficulty for you people to understand. But uh, numerical example, when you start discussing, uh, definitely 100% I can assure all of you will become so comfortable with uh, all the steps of encoding and decoding. Now, read this. I to add a parity bit to make a even parity. What should be the fifth bit for the below messages? Actually, this sentence was below. Hence, I wrote above. Now, I have changed I forgot to do this. Now can you tell for a making an even bit, parity bit, the fifth bit I am adding to all this. You can write down the number 1, 2, 3, any 2 followed by whether it is 0 or 1. You have 1 minute time. To make an even parity, I want to add additional 1 bit, a parity bit. For example, first case, whether the parity bit what I am adding, whether it should be 0 or not, says that whether I should add 0 or not, the number of bits should become even. 
the first case whether it is a 0 or 1 what I have to add to make an even parity type your answer in the chat box question is very simple a total a fifth position I am adding something total 5 bits if I consider very good one he is telling uh, Shankaranan so when I write here uh, what he is thinking if already it is even I will put 1 no Shankaranan including this what I am writing together it should become total even are you getting my point already it is even is there hence I cannot add extra I have to make it 0 similarly can you write uh, 2 3 4 any 1 or 2 in the chat box I think uh, Rashmi has told first one 0 sir correct can you type a uh, third one fourth one anyone one one you can type all of you so that I can go to the next and uh, for example 2 is also 0 correct and 3 what about others uh, Rashmi Vidya Rashmi is typing Vidya Shankarananda third and fourth I want you people to type fast so that you can go I think Rashmi is typing all Shankarananda whether it should be 0 or 1 number of bits should be 1 yes so total will become 4 ones it is correct I think Shankarananda and uh, I want one more student to type fourth one at least uh, so that I can understand that you have understood what I told let me go to the third one is one with the aspect good now whatever you have just now told the same thing I have done it here all zeros zero 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 one I am adding a one because to make a one parity simply I am adding one so this parity helps us to detect whether error has occurred or not correction cannot be done but at least we can detect whether error has happened or not now a small uh, little example one more a horizontal and vertical parity can be taken for example I have four messages I am sending from transmitter to the receiver so I am putting a parity bits can you tell the first row I am making even parity whether it should be 0 or 1 here what I am appending number of 1 should become even so whether it should be 0 or 1 yeah I think uh, Vidya has typed 1 and uh, the same way a remaining I can do it see this should be number of one should be even okay one two three it should be even means it should be four now I am adding a appending a one similarly remaining I can do it and now whatever I have done it is for a row similarly I can do it for column so for the first column can you type in and whether it should be zero or one either it should be 0 or 1 I think uh, Vidya is typing Rashmi has typed 0 similarly here it should be 0 correct remaining I am also doing it now what I am doing I am adding a row wise parity bits column wise parity bits this may help me to do the correction also how let us take one simplest example now consider this 1 has become 0 I have sent all these things information from transmitter to the receiver this has become a error means 0 has become 1 or 1 might have become 0 now 1 has become 0 now again at the receiver side when I receive I will check the parity bit whether all or even parity are not first is ok second is ok but third is not an even parity 1 2 3 only 3 ones are there similarly if I check the column wise also 1 only 1 is there so third column and third row I don't have even remaining all are even so hence I can say third row and third column is not even parity hence third bit of a m3 is in error this is the way how I can do it this is not a any big algorithm a simplest how a, a error can be detected one simplest example so that later we can go for a uh, different different algorithms now try to understand it's very simple whole block diagram um, linear block code you can understand easily now parity bit I am adding even parity because number of ones become even 1, 2, 3, 4. Instead of only adding a one parity, I can go for more than one parity. All are even parity only. But instead of taking all bits, I'll take a I will choose particular bit. For example, I will take a, a first bit belongs to one, third, fourth. So let me give one simple example so that you can understand. I have made a different color so that you can understand this these bits 1 2 3 4 it should become even parity now 1 1 1 3 ones are there only considering these three I am making a 1 and I consider black color 
so it should be zero similarly now i have two parity bits for a data bits 5 i can have in general something see i have a data bit parity bits i can take first second fifth bit one more parity can take two second third fourth third parity can take first third fourth so now these five plus these three bits to be, together it becomes a code word this is a data this will become parity bits together it will become a code word so give me let me give a generalized yeah this is generalized choosing a parity bits can be generalized if a message bit is three bit automatically i'll get two raised to three combination those many code words will be there above code is a n comma k block code just copy down this a simple information so that this is standard for this particular chapter a message bit followed by a parity bits uh, together it will become a code word always in the beginning i have a message bits followed by message bits i have a parity bits now k message bits are there so those many code words i'll have so two raised to k code words i'll be having Okay, let me wait for another 5 seconds and go to the next. Now, weight of the code is nothing but what? A number of non-zero elements contained in the code word. It is nothing but number of ones only. In this example, the number of ones are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When all code words have equal weight, means number of ones are same in all the code words, then I can call that as a constant weight code. And I can say systematic code, when codes in which the message bits appear at the beginning of the code word. So this you copy down and try to understand. Weight of the code is nothing but a number of non-zero. Number of non-zero is nothing but a number of ones. So in this example, I have shown 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones are there, therefore 5 are here. And when all code words are an equal weight, I can say it is a fixed weight or constant weight code. Systematic code is nothing but codes in which the message bits appear at the beginning. So whatever we are discussing now, in this chapter, we write a beginning a data bits followed by a parity bits, together it will become a code word. So such codes we call as a systematic code reason is in systematic code a beginning we have data bits and followed by some parity bits just copy down the weight of the code is nothing but a number of ones and uh, if all the number of ones in all the code words are same i can say a constant weight code that's all uh, two three words are more than enough in this slide and throughout this chapter we talk only about a systematic code hope most of you have completed and uh, let me go to the next slide this we have discussed already uh, addition mod 2 and uh, similarly multiplication here i remember 1 plus 1 equal to 0 and uh, remaining all of you know 1 into 1 is 1 remaining all are 0 this is known to you people it's a galas field you have taken to a uh, similarly i have discussed many uh, this is a galas field of 5 uh, addition table this is a multiplication table even for a galas field of 7 and all we have discussed in the previous classes let me go to the next as all of you know all these things no need of any explanation now a linear block codes a code a little information may repeat in some of the slides again this information may come again in some of the slide whatever is needed that you copy down uh, we use a mod to addition arithmetic pro produces a third code uh, then only i can say it's a linear this is important <clears throat> whenever i say n comma k linear block code n represents the code word 
k represents the number of message bits n minus k represents the parity bits so please copy down this take a minute uh, above you have already copied this information only this you try to understand whenever i say n comma k means what meaning that you have to copy down take a minute copy down <coughs> Hope uh, most of you copied meaning of n, k, and n minus k. So let me go to the next. Yeah. Each message block is encoded, n minus k additional bits are generated. This I have already told in the previous slide. Information sequence is segmented into a message blocks of k successive information bits. What is the block size? k bits. So those I am considering and I am encoding and for example let message bits are d equal to d1, d2, dk each message bit may be 0 or 1 again code word is given by c1, c2, c3 like that and each bit will be 0 or 1 total how many codes I will be having 2 raised to k some of the information may be uh, repetitive for you people whatever you feel a little additional that you can just uh, note down I think here you can take d equal to d1, d2, d3 up to dk, c equal to c1, c2 up to uh, cn because number of bits are n. Whether n is a bigger number or k is a bigger number. Can you type in the chat box? n is greater than k or k is greater than n. You can type in the chat box. n greater than k or k greater than n. Any one n is greater very good i think uh, all are uh, active in the class why n is greater common sense k bits plus parity bits becomes a uh, n bits so automatically n will be greater okay thank you for your answers let me go to the next see this is the way how i do it a little theory we are discussing we are not uh, discussing any numerical example in to, uh, today's class a theory we discuss, whatever the theory we are discussing, with numerical example we are going to solve in the next class. So sometimes some students will feel more comfortable with the numerical example. But don't worry, uh, you can go, first we will do this, then more than not one or two, we will discuss a few examples so that everybody will become a, a perfect for this. CK plus 1 is given by P11, why K plus 1? Because K is already data bits first parity bit is a ck plus one and how we do it i told in the previous uh, using a different colors particular bits i will take d1, but here i have mentioned all d1 d2 d3 up to dk1 but p11 may be 0 or 1 p21 may be 0 or 1 so like it selected i will make one so that only those will be xor so that a particular bit will be decided the parity bit is 0 or 1 similarly the next parity bit next parity bit next parity bit depends on the some uh, p12, p2, pk2, some combination of zeros and This indicates particular bit I am considering or I am not considering. You are taken in the previous example. No doubt we discuss many examples in the uh, after this theory is over. Copy down this equation and uh, since p, i, j are zeros and ones, c, k are also zeros and ones. When you can write in this this in the matrix form, I'll show you in the next slide. Well, you have to note down C K plus one equal to P one one D one mod two addition, but it's a XOR only. P two one D two XOR up to P K one D K. Similarly, C K plus two equal to P one two D one mod 2 addition p22 d2 mod 2 addition continues up to 
पी के टू डी के सो लास्ट सी के प्लस एन माइनस वन इट शुड बी वाइल टाइपिंग सी के एन टोटल बिकम एन माइनस के टोटल शुड बिकम नंबर ऑफ बिट्स शुड बी एन या सो के माइनस के विल गेट कैंसल सी एन या टोटल बिट शुड बिकम एन बिट्स लेट मी गो टू द नेक्स्ट हाउ अ मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म यू कैन राइट सो वे हाउ यू कैन राइट अ मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म इफ अ बिट्स आर सिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल अल टेक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स अल टेक अडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स सिक्स बाय सिक्स आई राइट आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स followed by i write a parity matrix copy down this one example and using this how we can write equation or if equation is given how we can write a matrix that we will see in the next slide example 6 cross 11 matrix k by k identity matrix followed by a parity matrix in this we have a 6 cross 6 identity matrix Identity matrix means all of you know this diagonal. I'll be having a one. Remaining all will be zero. If it is a three cross three, then one zero 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 one zero 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 one. If it is a four cross four, then extra zero 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 one will come like that. If it is seven and eight, again one 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 will come in the diagonal. So we can write in the equation also. Using a matrix, so please note down uh, this. Anyway, this uh, matrix is available in the next slide also. Those who have missed one or two entries, they can see it here also. Now, how I can write this is a this I'll get a code uh, data as it is C equal to beginning data as it is I'll get parity bits. How I'll get by mod two addition of a D one, D two, D three. That only I'm writing. Similarly, second one, I think I have D three, D four, D five, D six. That is written. Similarly, last one I have mentioned. So which one I am taking now? This is a D three. Four is not there. Five is not there. D six. D three plus D six. So if uh, equations are given, you should able to write a parity matrix. Or if a parity matrix is given, you should able to write equation. Copy down. Matrix is already with you. Write down this P one equal to P two equal to, and learn how to write a, a matrix form if a P one P two is given, or if a matrix is given, how to write the P one P two P three. Take another few seconds and try to complete equations P one, P two, P three, P four, P five equal to. So another ten seconds. I'll wait and then we'll go to the next. Okay. Encoding procedure we are going to discuss without taking any numerical example, na? and similarly decoding procedure we discuss without taking any numerical example. Generalized discussion it is. Some students may get some doubts. Don't worry. When you start discussing with a numerical example, you'll get a hundred percent. You'll understand. Everything will become more clear. So this I already told you people. Uh, information sequence is segmented into uh, blocks of key successive information. And each block, I'm going to add a n minus k redundant bits. Now, let us consider. I let a message d equal to d1, d2, d k, and uh, each bit may be either zero or one. To rest to k different message blocks, I'll get it. And code words c1 to c2, these things are repetitive. And rate of the code is a new one. is given by number of message bits divided by number of code bits. This you have to note down k by n. And uh, systematic block code first bit will be data bits. I think these two words. This is the one extra word you can copy down. Remaining you can read it once. Even though it is repetitive, uh, no problem because when you read twice, thrice, same thing. Na? 
you will understand or these words will remain in your mind first beginning bits of the code words will be a data bits rate of code or code efficiency they write number of message bits by a number of code bits k by n d equal to d1 d2 already is there c equal to c1 c2 you have copied let us go to the next systematic means also you have copied now the check bits how we generate ck plus 1 this also I think you already copied just now. Glance once. Glance once. Take another 10 seconds. It is the same equations what you have copied. In the encoding procedure. Now, how we can find out a code word? Once if I know the parity bit parity matrix and identity matrix can be written so this will become a g identity matrix followed by parity matrix will become a g if i multiply d into z i'll get a code word so please remember c equal to d into g this i want you people to note down uh, with a numerical example we are going to discuss later as of now a theory we are going to discuss in now code words code bits will be given by a data bits followed by a G. G is nothing but a generator matrix. Generator matrix is given by identity matrix followed by a parity matrix. C is equal to D into G where G is the K cross in generator matrix and usually it is given by identity matrix followed by parity matrix. And in the 5 seconds I will go to the next slide. Okay, now I want to answer from you people. Generator matrix is given by identity matrix followed by parity matrix where ik is called as what and p is called as what matrix just now I have told I want a two words from you people in the chat box i is called as what matrix and p is called as which matrix if you have copied also well and good other way, even if you are remembering also you can tell identity very good uh, IK is identity matrix. Everybody is telling. Very good. Nisarga is telling parity matrix is a P, sir. Cut. So these are the two answers. Very good. All of you are active in the class. Let me go to the next. The same thing just I am telling you. If you want, you can note down one point. If you are already remembering, so then I will wait for a 10 seconds. Then I can go to the next. I is a identity matrix and P is a parity matrix. And the selection of P matrix decides the properties of the code. So this is about a G identity matrix followed by a parity matrix. So H, H is a parity check matrix and is given by H equal to P transpose I N minus K. You have to remember H equal to P transpose I. So first I write P transpose followed by I means uh, identity matrix where P transpose is the transpose of a P matrix and I is the identity matrix. Take a minute and uh, copy down. The H matrix is used to verify whether the code word is generated by G or not. How I can verify? Simply do the CH transpose equal to it should be 0. H transpose is the transpose of the matrix. H. This is about an encoding procedure. A similarly decoding procedure you have to discuss without any a numerical example. Once if you complete a decoding procedure, 
Then we will take a numerical example. We will discuss a encoding procedure with a numerical example. That time it will be easy whatever we have discussed so far. Let me go to the next slide. Yeah, decoding of block codes. How we do a G matrix is used in the encoding operation. H is used in the decoding operation. Consider a block N, K. G is given by I followed by P and H transpose is given by P transpose followed by I. Let C be the code word transmitted, R be the received code word. Even though R may be same, but we consider R means at the receiver side. C means at the transmitter I am sending. R is given by code word what you are sending plus some error. E stands for error. There may be error or there may not be error. So just copy down at the receiver side R equal to C plus E whereas E is nothing but a error vector. And uh, one word you can take down H is used for a decoding. H is used for a decoding operation. So let me go to the next R equal to C plus C you have to write E is a error vector. C is what? Code vector. Now at the receiver side what I do? I calculate the syndrome. What is the syndrome sir? Simply received into H transpose I do. Because I can, I am not doing C, C plus E. I don't know E is there or not, some error is there or not. Received into H transpose I do and I will calculate a S. If R is C only then it will become 0. The same thing is mentioned here. C plus E, R is nothing but. This is nothing but a CH transpose plus CH transpose. But CH transpose equal to 0, all of us we have discussed just now. If E is also 0 then EH transpose is also 0. Hence S will become 0. Therefore, R I can say it is a valid code word. If S is not equal to 0, then I can say E is there, means error has occurred in the transmission. This is about a decoding procedure. Copy down this uh, decoding procedure. We do S equal to R into H transpose. R is a received, received means a uh, code word plus some error I am receiving. If error is 0, it is nothing but a CH transpose only. Hence, RH transpose or S equal to 0. Otherwise, I will get something other than 0, S value. Whenever S is not 0, other than 0 is there anything, huh? any combination of 0s and 1s, then I can say some error has occurred. This we are going to discuss with uh, some numerical examples. One by one we will take and we will discuss in detail. Now theoretically we have discussed. Hope most of you have copied and summary. I want you people to write down these things. Now once again this is like a summary. This completes uh, uh, most of the things in this chapter. G is IP. It is not a multiplication. I followed by P in the same matrix. C is a DG. H equal to P transpose I. S equal to RH transpose. CH transpose equal to 0. Just uh, copy down, write down in your notebook and read it at least 5 to 6 times now. G equal to IP, C equal to DG, H equal to P transpose I, S equal to R into H transpose, CH transpose equal to 0. Hope all of you are remembering if I tell something the equation you will type in the chat box. Take another 10 seconds and read it twice or thrice. No need to write uh, H transpose, you can write HT in the chat box. 
Okay, let us revise. Now C equal to, can you type in the chat box? C equal to. Okay, Nisarga DG. And uh, H equal to. H equal to. Okay, P transpose I, correct. Okay. And uh, G equal to. G equal to. IP, correct. G equal to IP. And uh, CH transpose equal to. CH transpose equal to 0, correct. And uh, RH transpose equal to. RH transpose equal to yes okay and uh, s may be zero or may not be zero it depends on the whether error has occurred or not hope most of you have become expert in these things and once if you remember this uh, most of the problems will become so easy to solve now let us take one simplest numerical example consider a 7 4 block code copy down as consider 7 comma 4 block code for which the parity check matrix is given as for which the parity check matrix is given as h equal to h equal to consider the 7 4 block code for which the parity check matrix is given as h equal to copy down triple one zero one zero zero triple one zero one zero zero double one zero one zero one zero second row one one zero one zero one zero third row one zero one one zero zero one I repeat first row triple one zero one double zero double one zero one zero one zero one zero one one zero zero one. This is a H they are given. You have to find all the code words. Take another ten seconds and try to note down and uh, just go through the equations. Now from this, can I write a P? How to write P? Why should I write P? When I say code word G equal to, so I no. C equal to what? Can you type in the chat box? C equal to. Code word I have to find out. So C I have to find out. When I want to find out a C, what is the equation C equal to? D into G. So when I say D into G, D, G. G is a G equal to what? Z equal to. You had already typed earlier G equal to. Yes, G equal to. You just know you have typed IP. Okay, first I, then P. Correct. And P, I'll get from a H. How? H equal to. All of us know. What is H equal to? H equal to. All of us know. From that, I can get a P. Yeah. H equal to P transpose I. So, from that, I can get a P. And uh, this is a summary you have to remember. You have to recall always. And from this, H is given and uh, now from this can you say what is N equal to K equal to R equal to I want you to type in the chat box N equal to K equal to R equal to N equal to 7 correct this is gone. and uh, P equal to uh, K equal to 4 this is also correct and R equal to is nothing but uh, N minus K K equal to 4, correct, with the as typed. Uh, Nisarka is typing 3, means it is R equal to 3. Shankaranand is also typing R equal to 3. All are correct answers. So, this is the same thing what you have told I am writing in the slide. Copy down this. K equal to N equal to R equal to. H is given. H is a P transpose I. G is a IP. So, I can write down G equal to I P. So what I am doing, a row I am making into column so that uh, I will get a 
P transpose of transpose in comma P. Take a one another thirty seconds, copy down and uh, try to understand. So those things you have to revise for a few days. Automatically it will become practice for you. G equal to C equal to S equal to H equal to. So it will become easy to solve any given problem. So let me go to the next. Hope all of you have written G. Now G is you got. You can write down C is equal to. C is equal to, I have to write d into g. So d, d1, d2, d3, d4, and uh, identity matrix you can see 4 cross 4, therefore d is 4, and I am multiplying. What I have to do to get the first parity bit, first, second, third bit I have to add. To get the next parity bit, first, second, next bit I have to add. Okay. So d1, d2, d4, or d1 d3 d4 I had to add to get the next so just observe this and those who are understanding or those who have completely got the idea they can write on a c5 equal to even by seeing also you can tell but to do it and tell c5 c6 c7 you can do it but remember mod 2 don't write uh, 1 plus 1 equal to 2 remember it's a mod 2 addition Otherwise, sometimes students will write 3, 2, uh, 3, 2 will never come into picture. Whenever you are going for XORing 1 and 1, you never get 2. That is the one important point which you have to remember. Take a one particular uh, combination D1, D2, D3, D4. Any one combination you can take. Uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, something like that. Actually, you have to take all the 16 because it is a beginning problem. You have to do for all. So let me go to the next uh, slide. So what you have to do? So you take uh, D1, D2, D3, D4 starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1, 1. Multiply C equal to D into G. Find the code word. Type a few code words in the chat box. Your time starts now. <laughs> 